Marjorie Taylor Greene, that one. Yeah, that Congresswoman, AKA Marjorie Tater Tot Green is at it again. Take a look. Can you tell me how much money was given to Drag Queen Story Hour? The, the, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Who? Drag Queen Story Time, where, where men dress oh, up as oh, women oh, and, and read yeah. confusing books to children. Yeah, first, I thought you said dry clean. <laughs> so I, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I don't know the answer to either one of those two. Uh, oh, we need to look into this, and I, I urge you to do that. Um, they, uh, Bradbury Sullivan LGBT Community Center in Pennsylvania received $16,000. Uh, for drag queen story time uh, from from COVID cash, um, I think this is an issue that needs to be looked into. A lot of this money went to things that should have never gone to. Good God, I mean, some things that should have never happened is this woman in Congress. But here we are. What you just watched was MTG on Wednesday in her unhinged return to the House Committee on Oversight and Accountability. Can you believe that this woman is back on this committee? Yes, yeah, she is. She was questioning the US government accountability's Gene Dodaro on federal spending amid the COVID pandemic. And you saw his face when she asked the question like, woman, what in the hell are you talking about? That's what he wanted to say. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it for him. Woman, what in the hell are you talking about? Or just gonna say, Congresswoman, woman, what in the hell are you talking about? I mean, his face said it all. I wish he had just said the words, you know? So, but she she didn't stop there because she can't help herself. Take a look at this. How much COVID cash was given to abortion? I do not know that answer. I don't have that answer. Oh, okay. So I do, I can tell you Planned Parenthood clinics received 80 billion in COVID relief loans, um, which is hard to understand how that happened. Um, Mr. Dodaro, can you tell me uh, how much how much COVID cash went to CRT? CRT? Critical race theory in education. It's, it's a racist right. uh, uh, curriculum used to teach children uh, that somehow their white skin is not equal to black skin and other things in education. Yeah. Uh, no, I do not know that. But Mr. Dodaro, I have to tell you, in Illinois, they, they received $5.1 billion um, at, at an elementary school there that, that used it for equity and diversity. Um, so it's, it's being used for these things. Jordan, I'm telling you, before we go any further, <laughs> I got to bring this out to the viewing audience. I cannot. Let me tell you something, if I were on that committee sitting in that Congress, the chairperson would have to gavel me down because I would have interrupted that committee for this foolishness and mayhem. The woman is crazy as hell. George is going to take over because I need a moment. I need a moment. <laughs> uh she, I, I'm struggling to follow like the point she's trying to make, but it seems like she's upset that the Paycheck Protection Program, which was COVID loans that were forgivable, that I believe she even received personally, uh, were went to causes and organizations that had political views and stances that were different than her. And what she's conflating is that plan, which helped people continue to get paid during the worst days of the pandemic and lockdown. She's conflating that with some direct federal investment and subsidy in these right wing conspiracy theories and fringe beliefs. This critical, like, there's no critical race theory organization or fund. It's maybe there's a school that crazily enough teaches people that Everyone is equal and that's beautiful and we should celebrate that and celebrate our diversity. But that's a threat to the right apparently and that a school received money to make sure those teachers continued to get paid during COVID is somehow egregious to her. Planned Parenthood operates a national network of clinics. Those people still needed to work during a health crisis because Planned Parenthood offers a range of services well beyond just reproductive health. It's good that people continued to get paid during the pandemic. And she's saying she's trying to conflate that with a federal investment or subsidy of abortion, which isn't true. And because of the Hyde Amendment, isn't even legal. So it really reflects that she doesn't know what's going on and doesn't really know what's happening. She 
apparently sees things on the internet, sees things on Facebook or in her Twitter replies, believes apparently everything she reads and just regurgitates it in one of the most prestigious committees in the House. At the same time, we need to recognize that Ilhan Omar was removed from the Foreign Affairs Committee. Now, Marjorie Taylor Greene was removed previously for anti-Semitic conspiracies, but because Kevin McCarthy is such a weak leader, he caved in exchange for her voting for him for House Speaker. She's back on. I mean, what what more do you what more do you need to see that that was clearly a quid pro quo? We he caved and. I mean, we've entered the hundredth ring of hell. I mean, seriously. Yeah. I, I just this 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 woman, okay, this chick. I, I just I just don't get. She don't even know what the hell CRT is, you know. And and yeah. you're right. I'm mean, conflating all kinds of stuff, but people are gobbling this stuff up because they believe this woman. She's on from another planet. Mars, come get her. I don't want to put that on Mars, Jordan. That's a damn shame. Look, look we just gonna have to make up a new planet. But please come and get her. Cause she's not from here, and she was lying. She's deranged. Take a look at this. The idea that one school in Illinois got five billion dollars to teach equity and diversity is insane. So I decided to see where she's getting these numbers from. It turns out in 2021, the federal government issued education-related COVID relief funds to every state, and Illinois specifically received five billion dollars. The state's plan mentions equity and diversity to describe how they'll respond to the impacts of COVID-19, which has nothing to do with an actual curriculum for students. Not only that, but she claims that only one school received this $5 billion CRT check. Thank you, Manny. I mean, he laid it out. Just checking this chick, which is easy to do. And let's take a look at some of what Twitter had to say about this foolishness and mayhem. Another elementary school in Georgia got $5.1 billion to research Marjorie Teller Green's brain. Hello, somebody. <laughs> Woo, that's delicious, to quote Marissa. Delicious. And check out this one. Hey guys, it was actually my school. We got all the teachers, segues, and each kid got a VR set that we can use for doing CRT. Listen, critical race theory is not taught in K through 12, nor is it taught in undergrad. It is taught in law school. Hello, somebody. But on a more serious note, let us remind you. Okay, that this woman knows absolutely nothing. Let's see what my stump double had to say about CRT. For years, for decades, for generations in this country, black children have had to carry inferiority on their backs, in their minds, in their hearts. This country, going back to what John said, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Well, let me tell you a little bit about the bad and the ugly. Chattel slavery was bad and ugly. And to be able to teach African American history in a holistic way, which is America's history. This country has some good, it has some bad, and it has some ugly. Critical race theory is taught in law school. It is not taught in K through 12. Hello, somebody. Now, can we underline that? Put it in a message in a bottle with an exclamation point and bold it, bold it, bold it, bold it. Look, y'all need to go get your cousins and let them know. They up in arms over CRT, something that is not taught in K through 12 education. More up in arms about that than they are about the fact that the child tax credit is gone. They more up in arms about that than they are that the Congress and this president in the last uh, Congress, the 117th, took away the rights of rail workers to strike. They more up in arms about that than the fact that they didn't pass the PRO Act or the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. Or the George Floyd Police Act, or that people can't afford a or milk or butter or gas or rent. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I am definitely calling on Black Jesus on this one. Yes, I am, baby. When it when it's real deep, only Black Jesus will do. I said it. It is something wrong with these people. Do you hear me? Something wrong with them. In America, we must stop being complicit in our own demise. Lord have mercy on my soul. 